Chicago is uh, more or less a working Midwest town. There's a lot going on in the city. There's some stuff outside the city that not a lot of people know about. There's not a lot of outdoor activities in Illinois. You got a few state parks, but from the city on west, you have suburbs and then all cornfields. If you like the outdoors, fishing's a good way to get out. My name is Kurt Nelson. I'm co-owner of Midwest Waters Angling Company. I'm Mike Allen out of Melbourne, Illinois. Mike and I probably have available to us over 100 floatable miles of nice crystal clear, healthy, scenic tributaries. Illinois uh, generally isn't looked at as destination fishery. We found some pieces of water and some areas that dictate otherwise. Our guiding company mainly focuses on smallmouth. There's a lot of other stuff, carp, hybrid bass, uh, occasional muskie, a lot of pike. better fish, not huge, but, uh, but nice. What I like about these river fish, these dot patterns underneath their, uh, their jawline, they're not as pronounced in the fish that we catch in the Niagara River and Lake Erie. These smaller rivers, if, in my opinion, produce better than these bigger rivers. There's no pressure, they're really small, clear water, and they got a good year class of smallmouth bass. Six inch water, you'll find a little pocket and boom, you'll see. You catch a 20 inch fish that you would never think was in there. amazing thing that you can be as close to Chicago as we are and still be in the outdoors. I was more of the kid that you'd find on a farm pond fishing rather than sitting inside. <laughs> Favorite part of the day? Maybe lunch. lunch? lunch? <laughs> Jeff Mike over here. Sausages. 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 But the bite was good in the morning and then once that sun got up, Bluebird skies, the bite kind of turned off. Those bigger fish were pretty skittish. Uh, we saw a lot of big fish today. They just weren't interested in eating. We're gonna put in on some of the same water we fished today uh, for a short part of the morning. We're gonna head down south and uh, we're gonna try some new water down there. Well, I like to refer to it as the land of the lost. Canyoned out, it has a lot of shale in it. You're really isolated. You don't feel like you're in an urban setting at all. Oh, so romantic. <laughs> It's amazing that you could go 
an hour and a half south of Chicago and find some of these wild natural rivers with no development. You can go an hour north of Chicago and find the same thing. From a brewing standpoint, Geneva has some killer water. We get it from a, a well. Great starting point for our beer. We do a lot of barrel-aged alternative fermentation stuff. We do wilds and sours, but then we really like our Belgian-style ales. Kurt and I decided we'll figure these tributaries out, and we're still constantly exploring, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> 